Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and this is the Tech News Update. We are Wednesday, August 8th, 2018, and today in our Tech News Update, uh, it seems that uh, Snapchat source code was actually spotted in GitHub, and it's been actually there for a while. Now, this is, of course, a little scary because when source code is available for something, well, it opens the platform to a lot of problems, including hacks of every kind. Um, it's kind of a weird moment, and um, we don't really know what's going to happen and how they're going to handle this. But also, we learned that Snapchat, since it actually changed its interface, has lost over 3 million users. Well, you know, charging cables. We need this charging for that, and that charging for that, and... I, for one, am one of those that constantly is searching for one of those cables for that specific thing that has that weird plug on it. Um, the European Union is actually working on passing a law that means that all chargers and all devices will have to have the same type of charger. That means everything will work with everything else. And that also means that, you know, um, even here in North America, even though it's a European law, it probably will have an effect because, you know, they won't make devices with two types of plugs. So uh, I think that's a very good thing. Well, Firefox is testing a new feature, and some of you might have it already. Um, I believe it's not everybody that's got it. It's a predictive feature. It predicts what you might want to look at in the future. So that forward button that usually is used to go back to a page that, you know, when you use a back button, you go back to previous pages, but the forward button would bring you back to those pages that you had uh, seen also. But now the um, forward button might actually be used to predict what page you want to view next. Kind of interesting. Well, BBC China has been blocked. And... Uh, it's been blocked because it started using the HTTPS websites, of course, that encrypts the website. And it seems that China doesn't like that. So BBC is actually telling everyone, use a VPN and go through to go through the security and listen to their services or watch their website. Uh, this is, you know, interesting fight of freedom versus security versus whatever China wants to do. Well, if you're using AdSense and you're wondering why there's all sorts of weird things happening this week, it's totally normal. There might be weird revenue um, numbers. There might be no revenue numbers. Um, whatever happens, um, YouTube, of course, uses AdSense to give you your payments when you're a YouTuber. Just remember one thing, AdSense in the future will be used only to show you the payments they owe you. Because YouTube analytics is where you need to go to check the real numbers. So if something's weird with your AdSense because you've been looking at that number, yeah, YouTube analytics is where you need to go. Stop looking at AdSense. It's pretty much going to stop working across the board showing statistics for YouTube uh, soon if it's not done for you already. Samsung is um, set to invest $22 billion in artificial intelligence, 5G, autonomous vehicles, uh, biopharmaceuticals, and create more than 40,000 jobs, and basically improving all aspects of its products, services, and uh, <clears throat> bringing to us more and more devices. WhatsApp has a security flaw. This uh, app, this actually message app, is um, been actually, there was a demonstration on how a message can be intercepted and manipulated in a security flaw that was discovered. So it could be used to send you fake news or, um, you know, just manipulate whatever somebody was printing you and changing the content. And it seems that the flaw is in the encryption method. So the recommendation right now is just be careful when you receive WhatsApp messages that there's nothing unusual. <laughs> Windows 10, experts say, is a big mess in Windows updates. The experts say that Microsoft really needs to fix 
Windows Update if they intend to actually force update everyone all the time. They say that it is more and more of a nightmare and uh, it is creating such a big problem for a lot of users. So, uh, you know, <coughs> Windows 10 Force upgrades do have negative sides to them and um, I guess a lot of people are finding that out. Well, it's been more than two months since the General Data Protection Regulation has actually showed up in Europe and more than 1,000 US news websites are still unavailable because they just aren't compliant and they just don't know what to do or it's taking a lot of time to actually comply to those new regulations. So uh, I guess uh, there's a lot of problems and a lot of work that still needs to be done. <coughs> Security experts are worried. New face recognition tools are actually scanning the web in search of faces, including any social media website. So for example, if you have your own face in there, it might want to try to cross-link you with other platforms and try to make a profile of your usage of social media and of the internet as a whole. So uh, maybe it's time to change those, you know, social pictures with your cat or dog or whatever you find interesting instead of your face. This was the Tech News Update for Wednesday, August the 8th, 2018. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.